Today we are in Pigeon Forge, Tennessee, standing in front of Calhoun's. Now Bobby and I have never been in here. Now they advertise that they have the best ribs in America. So let's go find out. Are you ready, Bobby? I'm ready. Let's rock and roll. Let's rock and roll. I want to show you guys where Calhoun's is located at. It's right next to the Lumberjack feud. Right here in Lumberjack Square. And right across the street from the track. And you can see it's busy here today. Tonight is the night of the Gatlinburg Parade. There's a lot of traffic headed into town. They have some outside seating. A nice warm day. Today's pretty warm, but the tomb. Always wanted to go in that. I think it's closed down now. Never made it. There is the kitchen back in there. And let's walk around here. They got a nice big fireplace. And over here, looks like they have a, a bar. How you doing? Good. Right here. It's a Christmas tree. A big area. Look where out there there's even more. So plenty of seating in here. That is a beautiful bar. We got some beef brisket chili, fried pickles. I like to try these burn ends, but I don't think I can eat all that. It's potato skins. There are their wings with their wing sauce. There's the different ways you can get them. They have them smoked. Fresh ground burgers. There's some different burgers. Chicken. Barbecue chicken sandwich. A beef brisket sandwich. There's their salads. We have a few choices of that. Now let's flip this over. There are their sides. Pretty good choice of sides. We got the spinach Maria and the Tennessee corn pudding. And there are the homemade desserts. Let's just look at that while we're going straight down. Banana pudding. There are their beverages. Let's go back up here. And fish and chips. There's their barbecue. Now I'm gonna try this trio here. Baby back ribs, chicken tenders, and hickory smoked pork. There's all the different kinds of barbecue they have. There's their steaks and chops. Bobby's gonna try the pork chop which is marinated in olive oil, mustard, garlic, and Cherokee red ale. And there's how you get it done, so that's the menu, it's pretty nice. Brought us out some breads to try, I got three different ones. I can definitely tell that's some cornbread, that's a roll, and I'm not sure, that could be banana bread, I'm not sure what the other I one is. that's what it is, but I'm not real sure. We'll find out. Bobby is gonna try the cornbread. Because I, I love cornbread. Now, it's not real hot, but it's it's warm. It's good. It's fresh. I like mine a little sweeter. Okay, it should be fresh because just open. Yeah, but you do like it. Yeah, I do like it. Just a little bit. More. I like a little bit more sugar in mine. <laughs> I ain't gonna try mine now. It's it's definitely soft. Cut it open. Cut yeah, it. all the bread is really fresh. Yeah, let's just cut this open. I'm gonna eat it without the butter. That's a 
little garlic on it. Tastes like. That's a nice flavor. Nice little crispiness on the outside. I like it. I said they brew their own tea here, so I got a sweet tea. It's good. It's not overly sweet. It's just about right. Sometimes I like Popeyes. I don't know if you guys are good at Popeyes. Their tea is extremely sweet, and I love it. It's still pretty good. So we were actually wrong about this. This is not banana bread. Nope. We asked the server. Well, it looks like it. And what did he say it was? It's like a berry beer bread, a seasonal thing. They had some beer in it. Let's just open it up. But it looks like banana bread. Let's just try it. And it smells like banana bread. It did. Me. I can't describe it. Does it taste like a banana flavor or anything mm. to you? <laughs> Got a little bit of berry flavor there. Oh, okay. There. I don't see it. I don't really see it in there. Like a little bit. But it's good. I mean, I like it. Now it's, it's thick. I mean, it's kind of heavy. It's not real light. Yeah, when I picked it up, I thought, yeah, wow, that's heavy. That's why we thought it was banana bread, too. You eat too many of these, you'd be fill you up. Yeah. That's now, good. Okay, is it moist? It is. It is moist. But, yeah, it's got... Once you chew on I me, mean, first took a bite, I couldn't taste, but now I can really taste the berries in it. So if we'd have tried it, we would have known what it is. Yeah. But it looks like banana bread. It's ribs, chicken tenders, pulled pork. There's the corn pudding, coleslaw. There's Bobby's pork chop. That's a good looking pork chop too. It is. And spinach Maria. Try it out, Bobby. Yeah, because I can, the flavors, I can already smell the pork chop. It smells excellent. So let's hope it tastes as good as it smells. Yeah, because it says it has what? Olive oil and that Cherokee red ale in it. Maybe that's Mustard close. and garlic. Let's take a look. Look at that. It cut really easy. Let's take a look at that. It's thick. It is. Let me see that. Let's take a look at that. Oh wow. That olive oil on there really gives it good flavor. It's tender. It's juicy. That is perfect. Spinach Maria. Never had this before. Yeah. He said there's Four different seasonings yeah, in there. Yeah, and cheeses. Cheeses. Look at that. Looks creamy, doesn't it? It does. Maybe he'll try this uh, with, along with my pork chop. Well, <laughs> maybe not, but it looks good. The cheese smells good, doesn't it? I, I see it on there. Like a cheddar cheese, I think is what it is. what it looks like. Look at the steam. You can see it. It is hot. Well, it's not, you saw the steam, so you know it's hot. It almost reminds me of the, um, like a broccoli and cheese sauce that you put on it. Like, like I said, a cheddar cheese. I like this. It's creamy. I'm tasting some different spices. Excellent. That's something different you never had before. Mm -mm. Let's start off with the chicken. Here's your chicken tenders. you got about, what, three of them? Yeah, I mean, that's not a real big one. But I got plenty. You do have plenty. plenty. The breading's not real crispy. Some people like just different types of breading. So there's not a lot of breading on it, but the chicken looks like tear it open. Oh, look at the steam come out of that. It's hot. Yep. I'm going to try it without any barbecue sauce. It's moist. Did you like that crust on that? The crust the is good. It's not the a breading. lot on there, so if you like a lot, there's not a lot on there. More like a cornmeal type to me, it kind of reminds me of the way the batter is, but the chicken is excellent. Let me try this barbecue sauce with That's their own barbecue sauce. It's not bad. It's not the best barbecue sauce I've ever had, but it tastes good. Let's try some, here's the a, a pork. Let's try it with out. Any barbecue sauce. It's tender. That better, but it's good. Um, it's hot. Here is supposed to be 
the world's famous ribs. So what do you guys think? Tastes good. All right? oh, yeah, yeah, everything's, everything's good. good. Excellent server here. Yeah, too. his name's Lucky. There it is. So let's uh, let's cut it. Let's just cut it. Find a place to cut this thing. Wait, right there. Baby back ribs. There we go. Kind of not a lot of meat on there. Yeah. Got that nice little char on the top. You like the char mm -hmm. too. I mean that comes off easy. Right. Yeah, all, all the meat mm. is just so tender, isn't it? It is. Now, sign says America's best. To me, they're not America's best. They're good. Average. I say they're average. We've ate too many ribs well, down in well, Memphis. We've eaten so many ribs. We've said that before. <laughs> um, I mean, it comes off nice. I would get this meal again. Yeah. But it's nothing is the best of anything I've ever had. Now this, I've never had this before. Yeah, I'm anxious to see what you think of that. It's like a cream corn. So there it is. Corn pudding. Some of you guys out there might have had this before, but not me. Almost looks like a cornbread. Yeah. There it is. Well, it tastes like definitely cream corn. Uh, I guess it kind of reminds me what I said. It's almost like pouring cream corn on top of cornbread to me. Now you got oh, coleslaw. A little thing of coleslaw. Mm -hmm. you know, a little bit. It's not bad. It's cold. It's definitely not warm. Sometimes you go places it's it's thick coleslaws. I guess I like my coleslaw maybe cut up a little more than that. These are some big pieces. Yeah, because I always, when that's we some, make it, we always some, cut it up yeah, smaller. Yeah, that's some big pieces. But I didn't know that was even coming with it. Bobby said I should try this pork chop because I would like this better than anything I got. I like pork chops. So. Yeah. Isn't that tender? Mm -hmm. The olive oil on there. A lot of flavors. And it's marinated in their beer? We got Cherokee Red Ale. Cherokee Red Ale. Tastes of garlic in there. Uh-huh. That is good. I would get that. So I figured their steaks, it's just marinated in the same stuff. It tastes excellent, too. All right, Bobby. Yeah, See if those are the... Now listen. <laughs> those are America's best ribs, is what they say. Okay. Let me know. They're falling apart on me. They're tender. There's not a lot of meat on them. No. Maybe back ribs. They're very tender and juicy, but um, like I said, we like them. Yeah, so you don't say they are America's best. Close, but no. Okay. <laughs> Love the bears going around the lights. It's a nice effect. Well, we found some banana pudding. Look at this, guys. This thing is huge, because here's a glass of tea. You can see how big that is, but it's got macadamia nuts in it, and they said two kinds of whipped cream, like a coconut whipped cream. And that one thing, this thing is ice cold. Yeah, it's, it really is cold, isn't it? It's That's really a lot. Too, really. Yeah, Bobby doesn't want to mess it up. I don't want to mess it up. Okay, I'm gonna get way down yeah, there. Yeah, get down in there. Yeah. Taste some bananas in there too. Well, it is banana pudding. Yeah, you want to taste bananas. I would taste bananas. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Coconut had you going. That could be it. I like that. Can you see bananas in there? I don't really see them, but uh, I taste them. Okay. There's a lot of um, Cool Whip in there for the cream. Let's take a look down in it. Let's see. There's down in it, guys. A lot of whipped cream on top. There's the pudding down there. There's your layers. Wow. Is it rich? No, it's not rich at all. Okay, I saw a banana down in here, so I got it. Well, that's, there they are. You can kind of see them. 
there's a big piece of banana. I don't know why the banana just big took me right by there. surprise, I think, because I was thinking it was just pudding. Well, I mean, it's just so, so much cream in it. That thing is, that thing is huge. That's probably too big a bite. Probably is. <laughs> I just like the way they had it in that uh, glass I mean, chilled. Just, it's pretty. I had three bananas in that bite, at least. That is creamy, but it is not rich. No, it's not yeah. rich like I but thought it would be. I mean, here, look at that. Look at that. Now, I don't really taste the macadamia nuts much, do you? No, I thought I seen some shavings of them on the top of it. There's one. I can taste it I can, now. I think I see one there. I got one there. Definitely got one. So I love macadamia nuts. And I'll tell you what, biting into that macadamia nut with a banana, that's excellent. Uh, we saw that on, on the menu. We thought, I like macadamia nuts, we're going to try that one. Here you go, guys, one more time. There's a banana. This one's for you. Okay, I better stop filming so I can get some of that before John eats it all. <laughs> this is worth, this is $7. We've been eating on this. I just want to show you guys in it now. We're down in the, we're down. There's just tons of bananas. You can taste the macadamia nuts. There's a bunch of them down in the bottom. Look how thick. I think you could almost, three people, I think three people could eat this dessert. So this is a, come here, get this. And there's a little bit of graham cracker crust in yeah, there I too mean, as is, we got down in it we'll never be able to finish this i don't think but it's definitely worth we're seven trying dollars. there's the barbecue trio for 19.95 pork chop for 12 banana pudding for seven soda 3.25 tea for three dollars grand total fifty dollars and six cents well we just left calhoun's and what did you think about it bobby well, I can tell you, I am stopped. I'm not sure we should have got that dessert, but I'm glad we did. But there was a lot in there. Um, I love the way the restaurant was decorated. I was telling John, I wish the fireplace would have been on, but it's a warm day right now. But I bet it's beautiful in the evening. They have it all decorated right now for Christmas. I wanted to give a shout out to our waiter, Lucky. He was awesome, wasn't he, he was. John? He came he was back awesome. several times to the table and checked on us. Very friendly. Every table we watched him go to. I mean, yeah, he was he just was friendly. Busy, he was busy. He? Excellent we, waiter. We were the first ones in there, but then they just kept pouring in, so it got packed. Um, I love the pork chop I had. I love the seasoning on it, and it was marinated very well. It was tendered when, when I cut into it. I love the spinach. Um, I think my meal was excellent. Mine, I liked it. Was it the best ribs? No. But I tell you what, real quick, I want to say Bobby's pork chop to me was the best thing of all four. Everything was good. Chicken tenders were good. Pork barbecue, they weren't the best that I've ever had. Would I get it again? Yeah, but I would get the pork chop and maybe get a steak here because that uh, Cherokee red ale that your pork chop was marinated yeah. in, they do the steaks that way. I think a steak would be awesome. So, but I would come back here. I, I recommend this place. Yeah. I thought the, and the banana pudding, there's a ton of it. <laughs> Set inside, three people could eat it, and I guarantee it because there is a lot in there. For $7, it's definitely worth it. So if you like this video, give us a thumbs up and subscribe. Yeah, so until we meet again, J&B have, have left, left the, the building. building.